I'm here to talk about simulcast distortion. Now, this is a thing I wanted to talk about mainly because there's so many people bitching and bitching and bitching about a radio they can get to make make certain signals and stuff like that. You know, I've been doing this a long time. I'm not a professional. I never claim to be. When I make my videos, I make it from the point of view of the average person that just buys the radio. And tonight I picked up quite a bit of simulcast distortion on a radio that was designed to beat the whole thing. Now I understand it can't do it 100% of the time, but I was getting it quite a bit. And I was thinking to myself, you know, if, if this is like a $650 scanner, I should only get this about maybe 4 or 5% of the time. I got it quite a bit. And how do I know? Because it was on a digital channel and it started breaking up. And the signal was at full. So that's usually what, what, what I diagnose as a simulcast problem. I made a video a couple of years ago or whenever it was about simulcast and I showed you that it wasn't perfect and a lot of people agreed with me. I just think for, well, what, for what's been going on, we can fix this problem. Uh, and you know, the problem with it is is that we, nobody's going to spend the money. We could probably develop a radio for the consumer what? That can beat all this hands down with, all, with, with almost no problems at all. But we're going to have to pay a lot of money for that. I'm talking like thousands of dollars probably. So we get the $650 model. Um, I don't get it a lot, so it isn't a big problem for me at all. But it's a pain in the ass sometimes when you have to hear that. Nothing's worse than if you're listening to a regular standard analog and you get a bad signal and you hear all that static. Nothing's worse than that. I will never take that back again. That was awful. That's why I have a Radio Shack scanner and it scans for the um, air traffic control. I listen to the planes, what's left of it. Not much to listen to. But if it ever gets static, I have to turn the damn thing off because I can't stand the sound of it. At least when that happens on a P25 system, you know, you just kind of, everything breaks up. You don't hear all static everywhere. So, um, I just wanted to, know, to let people know it's not perfect. Currently, the only radio on Scanner Master that's sold out is the SCS-100. I hope people get the correct knowledge before they buy these things. I can't really give any knowledge out for this, for this in particular. But I can tell you that they'll try to help you from their websites and their emails and tech support, phone numbers, but I think you've got to do a lot of research for yourself. These people are not going to help you 100%. I'm sorry, it's going to take research from yourself to do it. Because if you don't do it yourself, you're never going to learn. And you can have these people programming radios for you, but that's not going to teach you anything. That's why I decided not to let them do it. It took me a long time. I figured out how to do it, and I was all set. Um, do you know that, um, do you know if I hadn't done that, I probably would have never learned how to make a favorites list or anything, or how to program them? I, well, I wasn't going to pay Scan and Master to sell some of these people $30, $40 a county so they can program my radio. No way, that's a ripoff. And then if you mess something up, you have to send it back to them and pay all fees to get it done again. And that's a ripoff. And I think when you buy a radio right away, you should be given a chance at a discount towards the upgrades. Now, I understand you have to pay full price if you decide down the line that you want to pay for them. But if I buy an SDS-100 right now, I should get maybe $5 off each upgrade if I want them. Give them a coupon or something. There's no deals at all to go along with these radios. And then you wonder why the business is so far in the shit. Bad enough it's too expensive. You can't involve a $5 coupon? That would be a nice deal for me um, and for everybody else. Bye-bye.